How to programmatically specify a schema. When you don't know the structure of the data ahead of time, you cannot create a case class. Or, if the structure of data is ever-changing, then also it is not possible to specify a static schema. For example, it may be the case that a new column gets added today, or an existing column can get dropped the day after. In such cases, how do you specify the case class without knowing the schema? In such instances, you can follow the following four steps to programmatically specify the schema and create a data frame. Step 1. Remove the header row from the original RDD and create RDD with no header RDD. Here, I am applying top action to the RDD, RDD1. This should pick the first row of the RDD. I am also passing the row to the parallelize method of Spark Context. This creates the header RDD. Picking the first header row using the top action and creating an RDD out of it. To remove the header row from the original RDD, I am using subtract transformation. RDD1 dot subtract off header RDD. This gives us RDD with no header. Removing the header row from the original RDD1 by using the subtract transformation. Step 2. Now that we have RDD with no header, second step is to generate a schema from the top row. Here I am using the first action to extract the first row from the RDD as a string, picking the first row as schema string. Next I am splitting the string based on delimiter and generating the schema. The schema is generated by using struct type and struct field types. Generate the schema based on the schema string. Step 3. The third step is to generate the row RDD from the regular RDD. Here I am using map transformation on RDD with no header to create row RDD. The elements are split based on comma as delimited to create array of values. I am applying another map transformation on top of it to create a row RDD. Convert the regular RDD to row RDD. Step 4. The final step is to create data frame by using SQL Context's create data frame method. Here I am passing the row RDD and schema as parameters. This gives us a new data frame. In this video, we saw the four steps to create a data frame by programmatically specifying the schema. In the next video, let's look at some of the data frame operations in Spark.